Hey everybody, GP Wallace and I'm back with another uh, tapping video. Um, part of the, the sequence I've been doing, which is uh, really very, uh, uh, probably more important, more of a priority for women than men, and body image and worthiness. Everybody wrestles with worthiness. There's another part of this that I wanted to deal with, and it's really just very blunt and out there, and that's just attractiveness, sex appeal. Being able to attract uh, in the environment, the kind of people that you want to be with, and particularly the kind of person you want to be with, right? Somebody, and you want them to find you attractive. So we we wrap, wrap ourselves into into pretzels, and we we just uh, we we try to eat nothing. We try to eat all these foods. We do diets, all of this stuff to try to make myself appeal to uh, at a, at a, at a certain uh, at that level. And not only that, but we try to hide stuff. We don't actually want to be seen the way we are. We try to hide all these things. Now, I'm not one of those people who's going to tell you, no, beauty is only skin deep and physical attractiveness doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It, it doesn't matter as much as energetic. And a lot of times, the attraction people feel is more energetic than it is physical, but it's a part of the, it's a part of the package. You want to feel attractive, and you don't. Really, what it comes right down to, I am not attractive enough to attract the person I would like to be with. That's really what it comes down to. Yet again, it's I'm not enough. I'm not good enough. I'm not attractive enough. I'm not shapely enough. I am not skinny enough. I am, I am, I am not. Whatever the particular quality that the litany in your mind keeps telling you, you know, if you just had this, you'd be okay. You'd be able to do it. Okay, none of that's relevant. And I want to, so we're not going to try to reframe this. We're not trying to make some kind of a philosophical case that looks don't matter, right? Because they do. They matter to you. Um, if, they, if, if looks didn't matter, we wouldn't have a cosmetics industry. We would, you know, <laughs> I mean, really. I mean, let's, let, let, let's, fa let's face it. So let's go right to the heart of the matter, and that is you simply don't feel attractive enough. So let's do it with some EFT. Go right, go right, right for the juggler. So... Even though I'm not attractive, I'm not attractive enough anyway. I just don't make the grade. I can't attract that someone I want to attract. I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself anyway. So even though I'm not attractive enough, I never was, never going to be, I'm just stuck in this hell of not being attractive enough to attract the kind of person I want. So I'm, I've, I'm out of my own league, for crying out loud, but I love and accept myself totally and completely anyway. So even though I'm not attractive enough, I've never been attractive enough, I'm probably never going to be attractive enough, and it really sucks to be in this position, I totally accept myself and love myself, and maybe even like myself anyway. Let's tap through the points. I am just not enough. I'm not attractive enough. I'm just not good looking enough. I try. Oh my God, do I try. How many diets? How many programs? How much time in the gym or the yoga studio? Or not. <laughs> or just trying to accept myself the way I am. But I can't accept myself the way I am. Because the way I am isn't good enough. I'm actually not able to get the kind of person I want to be with. So I'm just not attractive enough. And it doesn't matter how hard I try. I always fail. Oh, God, this is so hard. I feel like I'm stuck in limbo. I, I'm, I'm not attractive enough to attract the person I want to attract because that person is going to have a higher level of attraction <laughs> requirements than I have. This is, I really believe this to be true. My whole nervous system is acting as if this is true. This is totally true, and I totally accept it anyway. Stop. Take a deep breath. I'm going to do another round, but I want to just kind of let that settle in there for a second. Because this is the assumption we're laboring under. We also don't realize that that belief literally manifests itself in characteristics that are not attractive. If you just assume yourself to be unattractive, that's the message you're going to communicate. And that message isn't just energetic, something subtle you pick up. It's going to be communicated in the way you dress, the way you move, the way you do, whether or not you can lose weight or not. All of the things that, all of the things that go into it, 
that energy, that fundamental belief is literally creating your experience. And so it's going to seem to be confirmed, right? Because all the evidence that confirms your, your belief is going to be reflected back to you. This is the way the universe works. This is the way our, our lives work. Okay, let's do it again. So even though I'm not attractive enough, I'm open to the possibility that maybe I've created this myself. Even though I'm not attractive enough, and I'm convinced that's true, well, maybe it isn't true. And maybe I can actually find some attractiveness. So even though I'm not attractive enough, I've been acting like it, I've, been, I've, I've certainly conveyed that in everything I do and say, maybe I don't have to do that anymore. Maybe it is possible to be attractive enough. Maybe even more than enough. Tap to the points. Maybe I've created all of this. Yeah, I've got certain look, certain equipment, certain characteristics, some of which have been acquired. I'm perfectly willing to let go of those. But some of them are natural. Some of them are just the way I am. Maybe the universe didn't make a mistake. Maybe all that Photoshop images are, are nonsense. Maybe this is the way I'm supposed to be. Maybe I'm perfectly attractive to whoever's meant to be attracted to me. I certainly know that the energy of self-love is far more attractive than the energy of self-loathing. So I know energetically I can be more attractive. And I wonder if that'll affect the way I look. I wonder. I'm certainly open to finding out. I really have constrained myself. I've put myself in this prison. I've assumed I had to do all these things to myself to become attractive. Maybe there's an easier way. Maybe I can just let my natural attractiveness, whatever that happens to look like, be expressed and be seen. Yes, I actually want to be seen. I'm tired of hiding. I want to be loved for who I am. Yes, of course I want to be better. Of course I want my physical appearance to match my sense of myself. But I don't need to twist myself into pretzels. Maybe there's an easier way. I'm really open to experiencing the energy of attractiveness. I'm really open to stepping in to that power, to that authority, to that fun, to that juice. So I'm giving new instructions to my nervous system. I've really been telling it to shut down by assuming I wasn't attractive and there were all these things I had to do to be attractive. I'm going to tell my nervous system, you know what? Discount that. I didn't know what I was talking about before. I want you to open up now and find the evidence of my attractiveness. See if there's any out there. Okay, if there's not, if I really am a dog, okay, that's the truth. I have to accept the truth. <laughs> it's the truth, right? Holds all the cards. But if it's not, there must be evidence of it out there. So I ask my entire system to open up. I recognize that in the past, I could hide behind, I'm not attractive enough. A nice way from 
from me keeping from putting myself out there fully. A nice way to hide. I don't want to hide anymore. It's lonely in hiding. And I want real intimacy, real passion, juice. And I allow myself to have that. I know my energy system can deliver that to me. Thank you. You could do anything. I love you. Take a deep breath. I'll tell you a little story. I was working with, uh, <clears throat> I was working with somebody. I was actually doing EFT on a completely different issue. Um, matter of fact, Receive a Cut, I was, I was actually working with combat veterans and one of the therapists who works with them. Um, and I had, a, I had a, a, an open time there where I didn't have, I wasn't seeing one of the, uh, uh, one of the uh, veterans. And uh, so she came in and <clears throat> we did a little EFT together. She was very tight and, you know, not, not a bad looking woman. But really kind of, kind of, energy was just really con constricted. And I don't even remember what it was we were working on. I think some kind of pain in her ear or something, right? But as we started working, and we started working on the energy, something just started to loose, loosen up in her. And I watched this woman transformed from kind of a button-down, you know, you know, uh, you know, Betty Briefcase kind of woman to this goddess right in front of my eyes. I mean... The whole body changed, the way she sat changed, the way she held herself changed. I mean, I felt like I just had been confronted with Aphrodite. I'm not kidding. The energy was so thick. I was sitting there going, I, I was like, okay, professional, prof professional ethics, professional ethics. It's like, oh my God. It was like unbelievable, the transformation, this energy that just started emanating from her. It was just absolutely powerful and absolutely beautiful. Because something inside had gotten liberated and we had got access. And she literally became beautiful right before my eyes. I watched everything, her expression, her gestures, her whole face just changed. And she went from being plain to gorgeous in about, in about three minutes, about the, what we did right there with, uh, with, with tapping. This stuff is for real, guys. <laughs> this stuff is for real. You free up that energy. And the, and the natural energy of that God and goddess that lives inside absolutely every one of us is going to get liberated. And when it does, it's going to express itself in your entire life. And that's what makes it juicy. All right, this is G.P. Walsh. Thanks. I'll have another video for you soon. Until later, namaste. Mm -hmm.